are now listening to the Poodcast. Welcome to the Poodcast, everybody. Hello. How's it going? My name's David. It's going so good. I'm that's back good. from vacation. These, yes. That's the end of our uh, pre-recorded ones. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're coming to you live from two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah that's a thinker. What's Fuck. What's been going on lately, David? Dude, I mean, not a whole lot. Been on that Jim Bob's grind lately. You just completely doxed your whole life. Whatever. I mean, there's more. Than I mean, one. there's two. There's more than one Jim Bob's, so we won't disclose <laughs> which <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that. Yeah, I'm on that pizza delivery grind. It's pretty great. Sounds um, fun. I mean, yeah. I. It's cool. Ordered pizza the other day. Really. From Pizza Hut, and then I was like, Oh Bro. shoot. David's at work. Yeah. <laughs> and then I felt stupid because one, Jim Bob's is way cheaper. And two, it's better. Uh, I don't know about cheaper. Uh, you, the breadsticks are cheaper. Yeah. And the breadsticks are my favorite thing from Jim Bob's. I didn't know there were breadsticks. They're so yeah, good. They're like yeah. $3 too. Oh. I guess. Uh, I don't know our memory. Our memory. I don't have our <laughs> menu. Menu by memory. <laughs> I it's really, been a long day. Right? Next time you're working, day, I'll order. Bob's. Do it. And I'll make you come. Do I have to order? Do I have to call the order? Or can I place it online? Yeah, you can do it online. Okay, good. And then, yeah, you can leave a fat tip online, too. <sighs> For the driver. Whoever it might be. Me. It'll be me. Okay. Probably. <laughs> can I request? Just, just during the day, Monday or Tuesday. No, if it's during the day, literally Monday or Tuesday, I'll be working. Or just during the week, usually, unless it's, like, Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably order it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll be there till four. That's uh, pretty. I mean, oh, I have gotten a new car. Oh yeah, since true. I don't know if I've talked about that. I don't yeah. know if I need to. It's just, it's a, you know, it's nicer than the one I, that I had. Yeah, basically. So, I um, I should probably say this. We we don't have a topic this week. Yeah, no. No. Um, this is gonna be. This is like more one on one, you know. Untitled. Yeah. And because of that, we're not gonna have a postcast. Yeah. Because. We're just not gonna have anything to talk about for it. So this is just a long conversation. Well, we just couldn't come up with anything uh, to talk about. So we we did post on our social media. Um, what should we talk about? Let's see if anybody else said anything. Um, but we follow didn't really get cast on Instagram. Yeah, follow yeah. our Instagram. We do polls to see like what we should talk about. Ooh. Do we got a? We have four. Ooh. Okay, what are they? <laughs> okay, the first one is the fact that racism is a myth invented by toaster companies to sell more toasters. Haha, <laughs> being random's funny. Uh, that is, it's so funny. Titty. Joe. Joe Mama. That's so funny. Uh, and good high school experiences. None. Mm. Literally none. Good I mean high school experiences. I mean I gotta I mean I can share some just some legal? shit I did in high school. <laughs> <laughs> You like, got expelled for a year. I, I got expelled for a year. I got, I got, I was like kicked out. I was either suspended or expelled every year of high school. Really? Yeah, I was suspended three I years, expelled one year. Never, I did get in trouble for online bullying, though. Ooh, that's not good. But I was just clapping back at some hoes who started it. And then who got in more trouble? Me, mm. per <laughs> usual. But always victim blaming. Dude, and, uh, they started it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll talk about some dumb shit I did. So, like, I don't know if... It, and at the high school, too, there was the main auditorium. And then there was a little theater. That's what they called it. But it, that's literally what it was. It was just a little theater. And it had, like, a screen on it. Like, it had, like, a... like a What am I trying to say? Like, a projector screen? Yeah. And, like, it probably went, like, 50 feet back. Like the, the chairs did from the stage. Um, but one day when I was a freshman, we and me and some buddies were, it was like during band class or some shit and we just weren't doing anything. So we went in there and we were just like tossing around this big plastic lid and the screen was down. And I remember I was like right in the back of the theater and my buddy was standing like right in front of the screen and I just like whipped it and it went straight hit smacked straight into the screen ripped a big asshole into it and it just fucking fell and we were all like oh shit and we all dipped out and then by like the end of the day just at some point during the day the band people called me down and were like hey so you know like this wasn't here before you got there and then after you left <laughs> you know like they, it wasn't hard to figure out you know did you get in trouble? Did you yeah. Buy a new well, one? I didn't have to do anything. They had like a warranty on the screen, I guess. Ooh. 
just like like insurance on it or whatever so i didn't have to pay anything but it was like a nice one like like a couple thousand dollars type shit sheesh yeah that was close if they didn't have the warranty yeah i know and i'm pre- dude i remember for like a couple of years still like they just had it taped up yeah i think like it they didn't was even fix it like they even just like had junior it taped senior up for a year bit. yeah i remember that and every time i went in there the people who knew it was me I was like, David, do you like what? Do you know why that screen is ripped? <laughs> <hand?" laughs> be like, mm, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, anybody at Memorial wondering why the little theater screen is got a fucking hole in it? Sorry. Hmm. Sorry, not sorry. My high school experience was lame. Memorial sucked. Yeah. Memorial sucked. Loveland High sucked. The best experience was graduating. Yeah, I didn't even go to graduation. Yeah. Why? Well, I just well, I well, I wouldn't have gone if I could have, but I did. Like I, there was like a, I was still failing a class at the cutoff, and then I like oh. turned in like a fuck ton of shit and got it up to like a C. Hey, minus. me too. I was failing a class, and then yeah, the day of cutoff, I mm, passed. Yeah, no, for me it was like a couple days after, like the that day. <laughs> I remember I just I like hit a low. And I was like, dude, I'm not going to graduate high school. Me bro. too. I had a breakdown. I, like, I was like, all right, that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> and then the next day I was like, nah, fuck this shit. Like, it's just a couple like worksheets. We got it. I would like and to I shout it down and did it. I'd like to shout out Peyton. We made eye contact there. Like, for literally being the reason I graduated because he did my retakes for me and sent them back to me. Really? Yep. Yeah. Nice. I paid him $10. She wouldn't have graduated otherwise. So. Dude, Madison is the reason that I graduated. <laughs> she wrote the majority of my capstone. Nice. Like, all, like, the short answer type shit. Like, I did my creative. Dude. Well, I didn't do the creative piece. I didn't either. a ridiculous either. amount of time to work on that. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I dicked around the entire time. You have, like, so a whole I, quarter I still to do it. I finished it. Yeah, I finished no. it in one night. I know. I did. So I did well, it in a week. I finished it. Like, it was done, but, you know, Madison did it, most of it. <laughs> we had to turn ours in, like, in separate pieces. Yeah. Oh, really? so, oh yeah. That's, yeah. Well, that's so, I would do mine that. in, like, a day at each one. That's what it was for us, but I had a Mr. R. I'll just say I that. had Mrs. R. She was my favorite. He was just, like, really lax with grading. Yeah, right. So, mm-hmm. like, they nice. were, like, yeah, they were, like, like, oh, this is due this day, and, you know, there'll be, like, a little minor, like... Like, like a grace period. Yeah, like to it, no, you get like five percent off oh. your grade or whatever oh. if you if you turn it in past the point. But I just yeah, turned that's it really on lame. In. I mean, we just had it all do at the same time at the end. Yeah, but my teacher was very like everyone liked her, but she to me it just seemed like she was trying to be way too uh, relatable. Yeah, she was younger. Like she was. Was it Miss B? Yeah. Is that her last name? Yes, but like we were supposed to make turkeys. Okay. And like trace our hand. Basically, yeah, he made his Jacob made his hand turkey um <laughs> look like 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 it was his hand, but then he put eyes all over it. <laughs> he just like got googly eyes and he put it all over and then he started writing on the sides of the paper like they know where you are. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. <laughs> what the stuff, fuck? stuff like that. <laughs> it was so funny. Don't look and at them. She, don't, she don't, don't, hung don't. it up and it, oh, miss, oh. and she laughed so hard. The teacher thought it was so funny. It was like, don't look at them. They know where you are. Don't look at them. He wrote, don't look at them like 18 times on the paper. Jesus. It was so funny. But yeah, anyway, though, Memorial was lame as hell. Um, Awful. Worst school. I don't know about the worst school, just shitty people. Well, the administration was Yeah, the awful. administration is disgusting. Exactly. Yeah, that's... They had this, like, totalitarian, like, yeah. mindset. School's so on, like, like, lockdown. If you tried leaving yeah. that building, oh, no. Well, my high school experience in general was lame because freshman and sophomore year, I didn't care. So mm-hmm. I would get home and play Civ 5 every night <laughs> until I, I went that. to bed with Andrew and Joey. We did that every single night. Sometimes it was single player. Sometimes they were on. <laughs> and I didn't do homework. And then junior and senior year, I tried to catch up. So I did homework every night. And I didn't. And I took a bunch of AP classes. So I didn't have time to do anything yeah. fun. So that was it. Junior year was definitely the hardest year really? for me. Senior was my hardest. No, senior was a fucking. Dude, I had three study halls and release every <laughs> other day. 
How'd you graduate like that? Yeah. What the Online heck? classes, night school. Uh-huh. Oh, but I took two AP classes my senior year. I have not taken a single AP class my entire high school career. Did you get bored in study hall, though? Or did yeah, you just skip? I would skip. Yeah, I would skip every day. Because I didn't skip. I just, like, sat there on my phone. I, got I would super skip bored. it. Dude, I had a fifth-hour study hall. Me, too. Ooh, that shit was that's nice. And then my counselor would yell at me all the time. She'd always call me into the, her office. Dude, the thing is... Like, okay, so it was, like, second semester I got is when I got the three study halls um, and the release. But, like, I, n- I never got a word from my con- – like, I, there was – I would skip my fifth-hour class every day for literally three weeks straight. Didn't get a single word. But I'm pretty sure the truancy offices close after a certain date. Mm-hmm. So you can just, like, s- pretty much skip as much as In you like want to May. towards the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And yeah. nobody's and if you're 18, you can't get truancy. I don't mm, think. No. Well, the worst thing is I was excited for that slideshow, <laughs> and then even though we we literally left earlier than we were supposed to, but they still cut the slideshow short. I didn't go to they it. They cut it short, and they like edited it. Yeah, a they bunch. like took everything out of it. They well, they cut Cause out Jada Evans or whatever mm-hmm. was doing Jada it. Jada made it. She well, they cut out half of the slideshow, which left a bunch of people out. But then I watched the full slideshow that she uploaded to YouTube, and I still wasn't in that one. So. I'm gonna really? find you. Was I it? in it? Yeah. Really? I wasn't in it. It's you know why you order. weren't in it? Because you didn't send one in. She Hold like up. DM'd everybody in our grade, and was like, "Please send me pictures for the senior slideshow." Well, I, I wasn't. I That's wasn't. Why even, I have like four no, 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 in she, there. Well, there was still like there was still like senior pictures, and I wasn't even in that. Do you have a senior picture in the yearbook? Yeah. Interesting. She didn't. She just didn't put me in. <laughs> I didn't send her any pictures. She did DM me. I remember that, but I was like, uh, my senior picture is fine enough. But she didn't even put that in. She put the ugliest pictures of me in there because they're all on her. She has the ugliest pics of me on her phone. Bro, what is it even called? Just go to her YouTube channel. What it's is her it? name? But yeah, I was lame. And then like when everyone tried to do the senior run, they uh they said they basically threatened them with guns. Yeah. What? Officer Hunt yeah. threatened them with gun. He like pulled well, out his gun or something no, like he was that. Like you're not gonna run. No, no, no. <laughs> what happened was they were gonna run from the upstairs to the downstairs, and as they were running across the first hallway, I they were running through the comments. One of the administrators stopped them and said, "You guys need to stop right now. There is an officer downstairs. Once you get down there, he has a gun." <laughs> what the fuck? He would still get trampled. Dude, I love. If they just how would you sh- Why would you shoot a bunch of high school students for running? Yeah. That's an escalation. Yeah. <laughs> it was when we were freshmen, Peyton. Mm-hmm. Um, and the seniors, like, they had, like, liquid ass or whatever. And oh. they, they ran and they just put the... It was just a little package and you just rip it up and you just... Fuck, it just smells so bad. Yeah. And they put liquid ass all over the school. And that was the last time they did the senior run. And Even it then, was just, just a like, walk. Okay. Even if we did do the liquid ass, too, it's like, I'll just start shooting kids. Yeah, yeah honestly, uh-huh. the, the administration so or a school district should have gotten in trouble for threatening kids with guns, yeah. considering gun violence is a huge topic. A huge fucking <laughs> issue in America right now, especially in schools. Yeah, so somebody should have, like, reported that. Yeah, I don't know. Real ridiculous. Yeah. Shout out MHS for being fucking ridiculous about everything. Oh, you know what was a high school experience? Wow. We survived the bomb scare of 2017. Hmm? That was every every threat we got. Well, there was that one. The one well, that the was freshmen. like. Mm-hmm. Well, wait, was that the one two years ago where they locked it down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's During because that w- they were actually posting pictures of guns and ammo. That was the day I stayed home from school, and everybody thought it was me because <laughs> of <laughs> what I did sophomore year. Yeah, and people yep. were literally messaging me, being like, "Why aren't you at school?" Like. <laughs> you know, like, well, like okay. what are you doing? It and then I, I remember I posted a video on the my story. S- like, stupidest I'm sick thing at is, home. <laughs> the girl that wrote the like message in the bathroom is yeah. the one that went and said something about it. And then they like, I had to write a statement so about it. She's just snitching on herself. Yeah, I had to write a statement about it because we were talking. You knew her? No, we were talking about it the next day, and this one girl and I were like talking about how we had went to the bathroom during second hour and there was nothing so then mr waters was like you guys should go talk to like officer hunt about it and like write a statement mm. saying what times you like went to the bathroom so we had to watch the cameras 
to see when you went in mm-hmm. oh i gosh. couldn't find myself i was like okay but i went to the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> like i i know i peed you're just like your question you're like did i and i'm like Fuck. did i no did i even go to the bathroom because i always went to the bathroom right do now. i even go to, do and i was poop? like my handwriting because a lot of girls handwriting looks very similar mine looked almost identical to hers Fuck. and i was like thinking about it later dude okay you just blacked out and wrote it dude that reminds me of a of a church camp story okay so i used to go to this church camp called rock river church camp but um it was like i don't don't know i i didn't go to it last year but i've gone like the past eight years before that um and the last year that i went there was this kid there and i won't say his name just because i don't know i don't really need to well his yeah i just won't um but he like i remember him like and I've, i've known this kid for forever because, like, he's been going to camp, and he's, like, the same age as me, and he's been going since we were, like, little kids. Um, but this year, he was just, like, super quiet and, like, just not, like, I don't know. He just wasn't, like, responding, you know? Like, he just wasn't very social. Yeah. Which is unusual, right? Because this kid was usually very, like, loud and annoying, and I didn't really like him because of that. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, one, I, I, one day, I'm, like, going to the cabin, and I see him in there. And I'm like, oh shit, like, what's he doing? So I just, like, kind of get quiet. And, like, I, he was, like, hitting a dab pen. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. Mm. Okay, let's go. So, like, I kind of approached him and I was like, hey, man. Like, it was like, I timed it. So it was like right when he was, you know, like, letting it out. So, like, it was like I caught him, but I was going to be like, hey, it's cool. You should let me hit that. <laughs> so, like, basically during church camp, I was just getting baked. Um, okay. And this is the only time I'd ever thought of even doing something like that, right? It was just weird. It wasn't the whole time. It was, like, the last couple days before this shit went down. Um, so, basically, what I didn't know is what this kid would do is get up super early before everyone and just go check out the other parts of the camp that just we weren't using, you know, like that the organization, whatever, wasn't using. Because it was like a bigger camp building that like our church group or whatever yeah. would rent out every summer. Um, So there were like old like other cabins and shit. So he would go into that. And I guess one day he like wrote this like suicide note in one of the cabins and like tied a noose and like hung it from the ceiling and like like broke some shit I, like he was vandalizing um so basically because of that like at, like they basically had to search all the boys like they they like have, all the boys had to like turn in their notebooks so they could like look at handwriting and shit like that and like um well no it wasn't even all the boys it was literally me and like two other dudes and then they were like, okay, well, we're going to, like, they lined everybody up and searched our bags and shit like that. Um, and nobody had any weapons or anything. But K- this dude, I almost said his name, this dude still had the dab pen. And I remember him looking at me saying, like, dude, what do I do with this? And I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't, I really don't fucking know. Like, you might just have to face the music. Um, and I remember they searched me, didn't find anything. Even though I had a jewel. But I, see it? I waistbanded that shit. Oh, Jewels are very sleek. They're put easy. it up your butt. That's why I lose conceal. mine all the time. Right, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I had that. They didn't get it. Um, but then so I'm looking through that kid's stuff, um, and he, they basically just like walked him around the corner, because they were searching us outside, in, like the broad side of this building. And so they walked him around the corner. And they like searched him, and like I could see one of the guys walk around. Who was searching with the dab pen? Just the like, the adults who like, like ran the, the counselors. Camp. Yeah, oh. like the counselors, and there were like a couple like administrator type people, like the there were village leaders, I guess, which is like How the many people were at this camp. Maybe like three to five hundred. Jesus. Jeez. Maybe 300. Church 300. camp? Oh, yeah. Like all the Midwest churches. Okay. Listen. Yeah. I went to church there camp. There were like over 200 people from Chicago, like alone. I went to church camp and there was six of us. No. Total. No, big, big church camp. <laughs> yeah. No, like That's lots. What I was thinking. No, yeah. So they were like, th- like I guess they saw it as a threat for whatever reason, the, the note, because it... 
I guess what happened is he he went in there, got fucking baked, and decided that was a good idea like that night. And then the next morning when they were doing their rounds, like when the staff, like the actual camp staff was like doing their rounds there, discovered it. And then, yeah, like during breakfast that day, they searched everyone and he got sent away. But yeah, sent away to he the gulag. Well, I mean, he, he he got sent home and like Aww. banned from the camp because he brought drugs and they have like a zero tolerance policy for drugs. I don't think they called the cops though. But as far as I know, that dude is like he he actually just recently texted me, but he was like on lockdown for like a long ass time. Like that was two summers ago. Um, Shit. but yeah, so there you go. That's a bit of a story for you, huh? Pictures. Yeah, I went to church camp, and it was literally... Well, it wasn't quite six. It was like 12, but still. Yeah. It was just people from Altoona. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, this, yeah. there's people from Indianapolis, Chicago, Detroit, fucking Sounds Milwaukee. Like it's a scary church camp. Yeah. It's no, I mean, it, it was all, like, good people. Like, it was... I, I didn't feel Good unsafe. Christians. Well, yeah, like, and I've I've known, all, like, literally all these kids since... Like I started going in like my, the year after fifth grade, mm. so like you know, like I know Sixth I know grade. the majority of the kids the, year, the summer after fifth grade. So <laughs> Indianapolis is a sad city. Yeah, <laughs> I've driven through Indy a couple times. It's, I drove through it on the way back, and they well, must they they really only have the the that big race, <laughs> the Indy five hundred. I. Yeah, actually, well, I drove through Indianapolis at 4 a.m., so it was pretty laid back. Yeah. It was really good traffic at 4 a.m. That's good. But when I was on my way to D.C., we drove to a gas station that was, like, half an hour away from Indianapolis, and we went into the gift shop, and they had a bunch of Chicago stuff, but not a single thing about Indianapolis, so that just kind of (laughs) shows... How sad that hate. city is. Yeah, right. But <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, That's funny as fuck. At least we're not Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> That's their slogan. Pretty much. Same with uh, Cleveland. Indianapolis. <laughs> At least we're not Detroit. Yeah. Same with Cleveland. What? Is, that's a skit. Mm-hmm. What is that from? It's just a video called Welcome to Cleveland, I yeah. think. At least we're not Detroit. At least we're not Detroit. Yeah. Cleveland's kind of sad and Cleveland, gray, Ohio. but I don't know. I could see them at least advertising Cleveland, you know? Yeah. They don't even do that for Indianapolis. It's like, yeah, no. yeah, we know. You ever seen an advertisement for Eau Claire? Well, Eau Claire's a small city. Right. Yeah, but, yeah. I just doxed us again. Fuck. And whatever. Uh, Every, it's very well known that Eau Claire's that, yeah. our, yeah. our hub. Plus, these podcasts aren't going to get popular until we start getting skits out. I th- I'm going to skits- start promoting our Instagram, even though it costs money, but whatever. I think skits are going to be the way to uh, to get a lot of viewers. People think we're funny. Which we are. Funny. We're hilarious. We are funny. We're fucking We can make some mint. TikToks. We got friends giving coming Absolutely not TikToks. Marty no. and I make TikToks together. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've seen some of them, and I don't want to make them still. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we got Friendsgiving coming up, thirtieth. That's gonna be enlightened. Yes, sir. It's gonna be great. We got some skooma. Yeah, which Elder is a, Scrolls. a drink from the Elder Scrolls lore. Uh, I'm making sweet rolls. Hell I'm yeah. making mashed pota- cheesy mash. I'm just oh my god. I'm driving back home early from Milwaukee for this. So you what are you bringing? Anything? You could I just buy, like, a pie. I just bring my sweet-ass self. How about that? How about you bring, like, a we pie? We need more meat products. I Marty's bring bringing ham. How I much will meat br- do you need? I will bring meat. I don't know how he's going to do that if he works till 730. I then. will bring big meat. <laughs> David will bring them. I will bring my <laughs> meat, and we will feast upon yes. it. <laughs> big meat. Sweet roll and skooma, yeah. <laughs> And we're watching Gremlins, even though it's like a day early. No. Yeah, we are. Yeah, what do you I mean? I don't want to watch Gremlins, bro. It's Too bad. It's the best movie on the planet. It is not the best <gasps> movie on the planet. It's 100% the best you movie suck. on the planet. You don't like Gremlins. I don't not like Gremlins. I just don't understand why we have to watch it. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. Because it's a Christmas movie. But we're not. It's not December. Uh, okay, dude. listen to this. Once it hits midnight... It's December. It's December 1st. It's sh- so we can't watch it until midnight. Okay, fine gremlins 
I've been waiting on this, David. Don't take this, this is from true. Me. What Peyton if I just, bought it like two I, months ago. What if I buy every copy of Gremlins and destroy every copy of it? Peyton Apple bought it a couple I months buy, ago. What if I destroy your copy? So they have something called digital media that you can. What if I destroy the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we're all. I will then. delete it. Just because we want to watch Gremlins. Yeah. I don't. I want to watch Twenty One Jump Street. I've never no. seen that movie. It's I. I want to watch Step Brothers. You don't really have to see it. Honestly, it's not. Yeah. It's an okay movie. If you want to see the My Name Is Jeff. Yeah, David. What have you been up to the past week? You really want to play Skyrim, so uh, yeah. So talk about some Skyrim. What are well, you planning on doing? I don't even know. I mean, I finished the 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 the, the Dark Brotherhood shit. Yeah. What is something else interesting to do? Because I've already I've Collect already all the Daedric artifacts. What What's the easiest one? Are, are they like based on your level? Some. I mean, uh, my favorite is the Clavicus Vial. How do line. I just? How many are there, and how do I start? Uh, I think there's sixteen or seventeen. Six. Okay. Bet. Um. That's gonna take a minute. You just kind of gotta go to the locations, and they're pretty quick quest lines. Like we were pretty quick. Well, how do how do you? So the uh, the only one that I can say for sure is I mean you can look these up but the Clavicus Vile one you literally you tra- fast travel to Falkreath and then you walk down the trail that's south and when you fast travel there you spawn right in and like right behind you is the south trail okay. so you just literally turn around there might be a guard that walks up to you and he'll be like there's a stray dog loose basically oh. turn around and this dog will walk up to you and okay. you just follow him like halfway across the map or you can fast travel there if you have it discovered faster to what halfway across the map to this little cave but it's like it's literally halfway across the map and that dog walks slow as hell so oh my God. and he brings you to his owner who's clavicus vile and you go through this whole thing mm. don't kill the dog don't just don't kill the dog don't be a dick you'll get an achievement once you get all the artifacts mm. um if you kill the dog you will get a different daedric artifact which is but that that daedric artifact isn't part of the quest line the other one is and if you get that one you can't get the one that you're supposed to get for the achievement so yeah and plus killing a dog's really kind of fucked yeah, up yeah you're so kind of fucked if you don't, do that don't shit. kill the dog he asks you to kill the dog don't kill the dog yeah okay so, so you go to iverstead Falkreath. That's what I meant. Yeah, Iverstead is the one on the base of the mountain. That's not. Is that a? Is that even a like a city or is that just a little shack thing? Iverstead is a small town. There's a yeah. few buildings. City or a town? Yeah. It's yeah. um, it's on the side of um the throat of the world. Mm. Mm. Iverstead. It's where the beginning of the steps up there are. That's Iverstead. Falkreath is on the bottom or the southwestern part of the map. Nice. Yes. Yeah, dude. Skyrim is tight. <laughs> yes. It's just it's so easy to just get lost in that game, bro. Dude. Like I'll sometimes I'll play that game and then I'm like, oh, it's fucking three AM. Sick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I That's just time with Civ. Yeah. Um Skyrim I have a little more self control because I constantly check the time when I'm playing that game. I don't for whatever reason. I don't. I um, can't. Daggerfall, you can get. Lo- I can get lost in Daggerfall and yeah. Warlands, but Skyrim and Oblivion, not so much. Amy, are you gonna play Skyrim sometime? Yeah, I don't really know. I think there's a ghost living in my room. Why? Okay. So, it all started when Marty was over. We were laying on my floor. This is really weird. Just like on our backs, you know, staring at my lights. While listening to rap music. Like the lights are off. But like my LED lights. And I didn't see this happen. Because I wasn't like looking at the time. But my LED lights just shut off. And they like flickered back on. And then I was like. Marty was like. There's a ghost in here. And I was like. No there's not. And then we both got like really cold. And then I was all alone later that night. And the lights did it again. And I freaked out. Hmm. That sounds mm-hmm. scary. Yeah. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For Friendsgiving, this is kind of off topic. We're talking about ghosts. Oh, shit. Well, I'm just asking. 
For the Secret Santas, is there like a price cap we're doing? We haven't talked about that yet. I spent $30 on my gift. Okay. I gotcha. So we should just keep it at that then. Yeah, whatever. Thirty dollars. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. I have to find something for my secret Santa for thirty dollars. You don't have to. Dude, I already know what I'm getting my secret Santa for. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to say because obviously I I just want to keep it. Yeah, we. I don't. We're telling too many secrets. Yeah. Obviously. But uh, I don't even think us Pootcast members listen to these things all the way through. My brother does. Oh, that's sweet. I like him. I have three pieces of gum in my mouth as of. Dude, try to right fit a now. whole pack in your mouth and see what happens. You even have a Presley whole pack. did that. Yeah, Presley <laughs> did it. So. <laughs> Presley got a whole pack in there. Presley got a new intern outfit. <laughs> it jingles. <laughs> David, what are you going to Milwaukee for? Thanksgiving. Do you have family there? Yeah, but that's yes. on the. I'm that's from on Milwaukee. the weekend though. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Well, how long are you going there? Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you coming back Saturday? Wednesday through Saturday, yeah. It's a long time. It's four days. Yeah. That's a long That's time. It's a long time for Thanksgiving. How many I've, Thanksgivings I've you got? two sides of the family down there, so. Oh. Both. Both. Interesting. Yeah, do you know where Waterford is? Waterford, Wisconsin? Yes. No. You do? I think so. It's a small little town. So my dad grew up. So my dad's side lives there. And then my mom's side lives on a little village in a village called North Prairie. Interesting. Yeah. It will be. <coughs> so those are both southern Wisconsin? Yeah. Hmm. Southeast. Wisconsin. What is in southwest Wisconsin? I don't think there's much. I mean, there's lacrosse, but that's like kind of northern. That's definitely more north. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything in southwest yeah. Wisconsin. Like, um, at probably just dairy isn't farms. It plain <laughs> dairy farms. Plain Honestly. <laughs> probably just dairy farms or like barley or corn. Probably towns about the size of Hayward, Hops. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hayward and like Alma and shit yeah. like that. Well, Hayward's, Hayward's a pretty touristy town. Yeah, Hayward is where all the Chicago people go in the summer. Yeah. So they all have houses in Hayward. Yeah. Their lake house. Hayward's a pretty pretty beautiful city. My dad when he was when he was just starting his business, he like he would do art shows and there's always one in uh, Hayward every year. Hayward is the is one of the nicest cities. Oh yeah. Have you heard there there's this um there's a restaurant and I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, it's like open. There's like an open deck up top and like there's an inside area, but there's like an open deck and you just like grab a menu and then go up to the counter and say what you want and they'll bring it out to you. Mm. I think it's called the loft. I want to say it is, but I don't think that's what it's called. There's a lot of restaurants that have closed down recently in Hayward. I'm not sure. Well, I was there there last, like this summer. Oh, okay. Yeah. We get, we eat there every single year. Like it's, it's a, like a pretty well known so you you go to Hayward every year? I mean, it's right by Ashland, Wisconsin, which we we go there every summer. We have um, how far is it from Ashland? Family and Superior, like, I mean, shoot, I can't remember if it's on the way oh. up or if it's past Ashland. It's definitely on the way up. I'm pretty no, it's past because it's on the lake. I think it's a little bit more towards um, like. What am I trying to do? It's a little bit more towards, like, in the west. You take 53 north from Eau Claire. Yeah. And you take that for a very long time, like an hour and a half. And then you take, then you get on 63, which takes you east. And then that eventually gets to Hayward. Yeah. And that's, like, a half hour. Do you know where Superior is? Yeah, that's, like, that's just straight north. Yeah. From Eau Claire. Yeah, my, we, I have family in Ashland, which is, like. Like just north of Superior. North of Superior. I'm pretty sure. Well, north of Superior is Duluth, Minnesota. Because that's the border. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Let me get a map of Wisconsin quick. Because Superior <laughs> and <laughs> Superior and Duluth are the same city. Snap map time. It's just that Superior's in Wisconsin, Duluth's in Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Hayward. 
Yeah, you can't even see Ashland. Yeah. Duluth is north of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like, it's like west or east of. Yeah, yeah. It's right. It's right. Right here. Right on the fucking. Right in the bay. Right on the lake. By Washburn. It's right on Superior. Lake Superior. It's right there. Yeah, I went to before school daycare every day before elementary school, and I had this one teacher, I guess, but kind of just a babysitter who uh, who wore a Ashland shirt every day. Yeah, it was very strange, and her name was Ashley, so it was it was interesting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> they got some. They got a cool museum there. Have you have you been to the the ore dock? Where in Ashland? I haven't been to Ashland. Oh well, I'm not sure what the ore dock is, but it was this big thing that went into the lake, mm. and then they shut it down for whatever reason. But my grandpa would tell me stories about when he was a teenager and he'd climb on top of the ore dock and jump into the superior, into the lake superior. Yeah, into the superior lake. Yeah, I don't go really north of Hayward a whole lot. Hayward's the most northward I go yeah. on a regular basis. I, I wouldn't in the winter. It just kind of gets colder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. It just gets more shitty. Have it's you been to Duluth in the winter? Yeah, that no. shit is disgusting. No. It's just frigid, cold, like just yeah. harsh wind. Just no, the Hayward air is like, or, fuck you. Uh, Duluth is cold in the fall because I went there in the fall. And, yeah. Oh, and it cold was all cold. The time. Yeah. I'm sure they're not bad in the summer, though. I mean, it's probably not, but even, like, winds from... Hold on, hold on. Lake uh, Superior. Yeah, winds from the lake definitely make that shit super cold. Like, it's right... Yeah, yeah it's right through... The, like, it turns into the... Huh, what river is that? Not the Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee? Yes. Chattanooga? Ch- Chattahoochee, way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Um, Chattahoochee. It gets hotter than a hoochie coochie. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want what's what is that from? What song is that? Uh, Chattahoochee by Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson. I try to avoid going to Minnesota unless uh, I get dragged there because Jeffrey Star is there. <laughs> yeah. Is that, <laughs> is that happening? I are that already happened. We didn't even see him. The line was insane. I've never seen that many. So you drove women. all the way there and then back for nothing. I mean, we went shopping. I didn't buy anything. I mean, we went shopping. I didn't buy anything. You just bought the gas to get there. Yeah. Or did Courtesy Corp buy the gas to get there? Nope. Skyler bought the gas to go there. Dang. That's true. We took my car though. Well, damn. Um, yeah. You're as smooth. As yeah. to Hennessy I haven't, whiskey. I haven't been to uh to Winona though, and I want to go there. They I have a Panda Express. I've never been there either. And Andrew tells me it's, it's a good, so cool. It's, it's so, so cool. cool. You got to go to Winona, bro. I dude, do you remember when he first moved here? And he just kept talking about just, how Minnesota's all he better. he would talk about his fucking how much better Winona is. He, would, <laughs> I remember he would say like, he would always shit on Wisconsin. Like whenever we'd be like, dude, stop. He'd be like, well. <laughs> you know, like always talk about the drunk driving like crash rate or some shit. And it's we'd, we'd be like, I don't know. Okay, Wisconsin just seems so much laid back, more laid back yeah. than the other midwestern states, and I like that. It's where all the stoners are, bro. Like we're just, I mean, I don't know. We're just like, like for example, because this, I kept thinking about this on my vacation, like the the red light uh, cameras. Mm. It's like we're just like, well, that's stupid. There's, Get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you're yeah, that's just adding so much stress. seconds, that's fine. Yeah. Like, it's just like, you're, that's adding just so much stress onto people's lives. Like, mm-hmm. just don't do that. Yeah, right. And Wisconsin's like, yeah, let's just not do that. Mm-hmm. It seems kind of lame. <laughs> and we don't, and it's fine. Mm-hmm. We're not all dying of yep. people running red lights. Yeah. <laughs> Head-on collisions and in intersections. Yeah. It's not and you, you go down to, like, Illinois, and there's just, like... Traffic is is um is monitored by aircraft device or aircraft and like really yeah shit that's on ninety four I think Jesus man speed is monitored by aircraft there's cameras on the red lights and everything it's like holy I'm in a military state right now yeah right like, <laughs> damn speaking of this this gets political but it's Kappa 
which is a a big thing that's happening right now. We were going to talk about this mm. because it could affect our channel. Mm. Um, Kappa is the chi- is a child protection act, essentially child online protection something. Yeah. Um, and basically, everyone's freaking out about it. I kind of am too because I'm a little scared. Mm. Uh, basically. It's been in effect for a while, but it's essentially a thing to protect kids online. Mm-hmm. Most of it is like stuff about like you can't stalk children's online profiles. And yeah. You can't you can't ask a child for his personal information. Don't be a creep. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. But then at the very end, it basically rushes in like swearing. Don't do that. No overly gory stuff. That kind of crap. It just kind of rushes that in. Now. Um, so they just fined YouTube, the FTC for like a hundred million dollars, something like that. I heard about that. And YouTube was, and because they hadn't been following it Mm. and FTC is actually, as of January 1st, they're enacting a new thing where they're able to actually, instead of finding the company of YouTube, they're going to be able to find individual users up to (laughs) $42,000. And damn. So. YouTube just implemented this new thing where you can mark things as child friendly or not child friendly. Mm. If you mark contact content as child friendly, you lose 90% of ad companies that can play on there because there's like beer companies and that kind of stuff that can't play on child stuff. So if you mark it as child friendly, you're going to lose basically 90% of your income on that video. Right. But if you don't, if you don't, then you can get a fine (laughs) of $42,000. Well, actually, if it's marked as child friendly, actually, no, it's the opposite. Cause if it's marked as child friendly, then whatever. But basically YouTube said not to follow that system because you can do it. Like you can mark it as child friendly. You cannot, but things that are seen as child content made for children include video games, um, bright colors, <laughs> which is the one I'm scared about because of our logo. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like just a bunch of other crap that like adults enjoy too, like like toys and that kind of crap. So if being there's like happy, <laughs> yeah, if you're being happy in the video. It's can't for have children. That shit. You better not yeah. be swearing because kid kids are watching. So, I mean, I've probably botched a lot of like what it is, but that's essentially what it is. And yeah, uh, crash course. You can like we could potentially get fined mm. for our content because we have bright colors in it. Although we don't have enough subscribers, where I don't I think that they would be paying attention. I mean, but yeah, it's still a worry. I went on the FTC's website, I left a comment, but surprisingly, on YouTube there seems to be a lot of anti FTC videos like against Kappa. Yeah. But you go on the FTC's website and all the comments seem to be positive. Really? And when you click a comment That's it definitely says definitely like yep. staged though. Like and they when can you, control what comments are seen exactly. on the website. Because definitely. when you when you go to make a comment it says this will be reviewed and yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I commented something basically along the lines of this is un-American, anti-First Amendment, and right. just because you're saying it's a you're protecting kids doesn't mean you actually are. Right. Basically, full of shit, and you hate the freedom of speech. Yeah. Uh, so, so <laughs> um, yeah. So FTC suck my nuts. Uh, maybe maybe FTC <laughs> think about it being the parents' job to protect the children. Yeah. Not you. Because and, and on the on their all. website they're all like we protect America's consumers. No, you don't. Fuck you off. fucking annoying the shit out even of America's M- consumers. Even Eminem has a lyric about the FTC. I don't like the FTC or the FCC. And you'd think that the FCC would be controlling this, not the FTC, because Federal Communications something community I don't know <laughs> but you'd think they'd be doing this not the federal trade commission <laughs> but alright whatever dude I guess children are consuming media so I mm-hmm. guess it okay. whatever dude yeah cop is scary well that's the thing about the internet is now it's like now we've kind of grasped it I feel like like it's it's been a new thing for a little bit and now it's like set like like it's it's here now you know we gotta like live with it and now people are just trying to be like oh how can we control this you know how can we like 
what is I don't know what the word I'm trying to figure uh, regulate. Yes, how can we regulate this? It's like maybe you know some things are just left untouched, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's no big issues with the internet right now. No, not really. Like none, nothing that's like, you know, new. Yeah, it's been just. In fact, things have been getting better. Yeah. So why touch something that isn't broken? Mm. <laughs> Don't fix it, me. <laughs> it seems. It just to me, it just seems like cop is a way for the government to get more of our money. But I don't know. yeah. Well, isn't that what a government is? <laughs> money grabber. Yeah. Yep. They need funding, man. <laughs> uh, you just print more money. Be like the Germans in World War Two. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just print more money. Yeah. It's a then great idea. Then we'd be idea. out of debt. Di- fucking st- idiot. <laughs> Inflation isn't real. <laughs> just giving kids money to play with. Just stacks and stacks of money. Here, Can we just change uh, dollars to credits so that we sound yes. sort of... Galactic credits. <laughs> 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 this, uh... Oh I was watching this YouTuber named I Sorrows, and he was playing this like pol- politics game where he was trying to make like a group of people that worshipped Satan and aliens <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so he's like, "Oh crap, we can make we can make our own currency." And then he's like, "What should I name this? What's alieny, alieny, and Sataney?" <laughs> and he named it Satan Credits. <laughs> Satan credits. <laughs> that's that's good. That's Satan good credits. Oh my god. I need me some Satan credits. I need me a pack of darties, man. It's eight Satan credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was it was a it was an entertaining video. Dude, lately I've been watching Live PD. I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched Stone Cold Justice or something like that? No. So, so I'm gonna just people getting arrested. I have a yeah, story about Stone Cold Justice. Were you on it? No, but I know somebody who was. Oh my god. So okay. my Let's ex boyfriend's cousin oh. is engaged to this man oh. who's a cop. Okay. And they were filming out by Rylander. Okay. And he was one of the cops they got to film. Damn. Dang. That's cool. I know. Yeah, man. I just, I like Live PD. Okay, here. So, so I feel like Live PD and Cops are like the two big, big cop shows, right? Yeah. So the difference, like, Cops is just, it's the people who get arrested and then they just fucking book it and it's the chase. It's so funny. It's the chase and then they get tased or whatever. They get bit by a dog. They get pepper sprayed, whatever it is. Like, that's just every single one. And, like, that's cool and all, but it, you know, it's like the same shit. I like Live PD. Because they do, they cover like traffic stops that turn into like, it'll it'll be like, it'll be like they pull them over for uh, like whatever, they didn't use a turn signal or something. And then, you know, it's like, oh, it smells like a little bit of weed in the car. Like we're going to conduct a search. And they they search whatever they find the weed and then find a hundred kilos of meth. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. Literally, there's an episode they un they pick up the seat like they undo the back seat. They take out two big ass Tupperware containers full of fucking meth. And it's like yeah, that's about two pa- two pounds of methamphetamine. <laughs> like okay, but yeah, I don't know what it is. I like seeing big quantities of drugs. Yeah. Have you ever done run the gauntlet? Yeah. Yep. Me and Peyton did that shit in like yeah, yeah middle school. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Um, I remember doing that shit with you specifically. Yeah. Anyway, speaking, <laughs> of which, speaking of this, well, uh, yeah, Marty, please cut all that out. Um, so, basically, speaking of things that got quarantined, um, the the subreddit Smuggies just got quarantined. What did they post? What was it about? I really liked Smuggies. A lot of their stuff was political, but it was pretty funny like basically they would just draw like really awful like stupid cartoons that just looked really bad like political cartoons no just people okay like just cartoons of people but they like were drawn horribly and like made the person look stupid yeah and then they would write like an opinion that they didn't agree with and they'd write it in a really dumb way it was really funny (laughs) some of them um why did it get quarantined though uh Uh, so you should probably say what it means for a subreddit to be quarantined it basically so means that know. you can't search for it and yeah. you can't uh you they it doesn't pop up at all outside of their subreddit mm. and all mm. that. You have to like, like literally outside of the community. You got to get a link to it basically. Yeah. Um and it hasn't been banned yet but it's quarantined. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Cuz it was funny to me. 
But are you able to look at it if you're following the subreddit? You can just get a link to it and see it, but okay. But it's just not really accessible. Yeah, I really liked Smuggies. It was kind of sad. It was, but I the reason they got quarantined was because of Holocaust denial. There was like one mm. post where they were denying the Holocaust because they were like, basically, since it's like all the posts are sarcastic because mm. it's like the opposite of what you're actually trying to say. Yeah. It was like something about like how. I don't even remember. It was just like, I I don't believe this like it was like the epstein conspiracy or whatever and then mm. it was like but the fact that these jews whatever is totally believable that mm. was like the post it didn't even get that many upvotes but that was enough to quarantine an entire subreddit that jesus. wasn't even about that jesus man because the subreddit was about like literally everything you know it was just like making your points in a funny way but that one post about from one guy who had a stupid opinion, right? He banned was the whole most thing. Most likely being sarcastic, like. Well, it was being he was the dude was a Holocaust denier, but oh, it, was, like it was, was it was it was one guy on oh, a big subreddit. Yeah. It did get a surprising. Actually, it did get a surprising amount of upvotes though, which I think was the problem. But. I mean, I whatever. People probably just saw it as a meme. Yeah, and they're like, ha, funny. Because it was all it was all memes. It right. was funny. That's what, bro. Have you seen the thing where it's like the screenshots of these like UWEC boys? Yep. And it's like this group chat, and it's like, it's they, it's like a picture. They're they're like, oh, I can't make it to the next meeting or whatever. BME meeting. Yeah, BME. I have no idea what you're talking. It's about. well, there's just like some screenshots from this group chat that got like leaked or whatever. And, and the BME is like. Black male empowerment or something like that. It's like a yeah. group on campus. Okay. Yeah, and it's somebody posted a picture of a bunch of people in like clan outfits burning a cross. Oh Jesus! Yeah, being like, being like, I don't just saying just really dumb edgy shit, right? Just like you know. Yeah. And there's just all these like girls and like people on Snapchat. I'm just, just disgusted. Yeah, they're it's like the most protesting nasty tomorrow at the school so like people i feel like sometimes i feel like people just didn't weren't alive in 2015 because that's when all the edgy shit was on youtube right and it's just like have you people never seen this kind of stuff dude yeah well i just want to know who one of them in that group chat showed somebody else and let them expose the group chat that he was in right and here's the thing like i understand I understand having a strong reaction to this and thinking like, hey, this is fucked up. Yeah, it's not you, funny. You shouldn't have said that. But like at the same time, it was a joke. And like there there were people who were like straight up like screenshotting these pics, posting like pictures of the like the kids like faces being like these people are assholes, like fuck these people. And like, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's too much. Like just say, you know, you can post a screenshot being like this is fucked. Or whatever. You or don't just dox just some kid because it, he made an edgy joke. Yeah, right. And you they're don't, like, don't post the picture. You know, like don't like put a face to a name saying this person is fucked. Like I feel like that's just like taking it too overboard. And maybe you know they're coming at the principal. Yeah, because the principal that's sent out an thing. email about so it. Have you have these people like never talked to another human being for a long period of time? Yeah, the people who are being upset. Every yeah, yeah, because everyone people at UWEC are pussies. Because yeah. everyone, straight up, everyone says some edgy shit in a long conversation. Everyone, and if especially in a fucking so group sensitive. chat full of dudes. Yeah, like there's gonna be some shit that's like, oh, maybe they shouldn't leave the group chat. Like, yeah, this is edgy. You well, know? there's yeah, things in edgy our group chat. These people that must have been should... living under a rock during 2015 because yeah, right. that was all of YouTube. Like during lit- that year. you can take. I mean, and I'm not uh, like again. I'm not saying that what they did was cool, but you can take any conversation out of context and make it look. Way well, worse. I mean, and theirs I, again, was already really well, yeah, bad. Uh, yeah, exactly. It was super but, bad, and they shouldn't have been joking like that. But, like, at the same time, like, you joke with friends. Yeah, like, if people read know? through some of our messages in our group chat. I mean, we don't get. We don't really get. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't post, get racist or anything. We don't post Ku Klux Klan no. pictures. Yeah, burning crosses. Uh, but, but we just say some pretty bad things to each other sometimes. Yeah. That I could mean, be easily, like. Like uh, yeah, that could be taken out of context but and I'll, blasted I'll, on social so media. So I would never 
go to one of my friends and be like, oh my God, look what so and so, like David said in the group chat, yeah. take a picture of it and post it, like expose my group chat. Yeah. yeah. These these people know. just don't have long form conversations. They right. just they just much sit in, they just must sit in the room and watch like YouTube video or like yeah. not YouTube videos, just Disney Plus. Disney Plus and and Netflix. Fucking yeah. Because all those shows are planned out, so obviously they don't have any like edgy stuff. Right. They yeah. don't just watch like so they can't. They just yeah. don't have conversations there's, with people. There's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I have something to say. There can't what? be anything possibly uncomfortable on something that's made yeah. by Disney. At Colorado State University which is in the city i lived in so like yeah this girl who i think's a freshman this year there posted a picture of her and two of her guy friends in like face masks that were charcoal face masks mm. oh, yeah. and they got in big trouble saying it was blackface Bruh. but it was a face mask Bruh. and charcoal face masks are literally like one of the best ones to use Everybody was clowning them for it. That's definitely like, small brain syndrome is a rampant disease. It's also, protesting seems like a waste of time. Yeah, I mean, okay. Here's the thing it's about a, here's the thing about protesting. I get it. It is your way, right? Like, if you want to go out and protest, whatever, that's your right as an American citizen. You can protest whatever the fuck you want because of your First Amendment right. Like, that is you're wasting your time though. You're I mean, a bunch yeah. of kids. I've yeah, been right. To protest. Like, but I, protest I feel too. like it's. Like, maybe back in the day, protesting was effective, but I feel like it's gotten less and less effective since, like, Definitely. since, like, the civil rights movement yeah. type Actually, shit. since, like, the internet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, like, you're at, why would you protest at a school where it was, like, one student who did it? Or, like, yeah, it was, students? like, two kids, and they got suspended from the football team. And for the blackface thing? Or for the, for the, the KKK one? thing, yeah. yeah. I don't know that that just seems like if if you don't agree with like a policy that the school's doing and you like protest the school that makes sense mm. but protesting at a school that because kids happen to go to yeah doesn't make like any what sense. are you what exactly are you protesting it doesn't make sense like you're protesting them to not say a g shit in group chats yeah <laughs> like. What are they going to be changing? What they want is they want the school to put a uh, a supervisor, like a school administrator, in every single group chat, and you're not allowed to make a group chat. Uh, it's kind of like an RA. School. Really? Yeah. Is you. that true? No. No. Yeah, that's just, I don't know what they want. That's probably it, yeah, though. Right. Just, yeah, like, what, what are they going to get out of it? We, they want a camera uh, in every single dorm room yeah. uh, just to film and then oh. make it, like, high enough quality so you can zoom in at every phone, yeah. make sure no one's saying any edgy stuff. Oh, yeah. Wait, but uh, now that we're talking about, like, the protests, want a like, database of every single I'm genuinely confused, like, what they want out of it. They yeah, can't. They it doesn't make exactly. any sense. What like, what do they want? Out. Them kicked off the, or, like... I don't know. What I don't know what the school's gonna do. Like what? just ban them. I'm gonna what look because gonna this girl I used to work with I is like, like organizing the protest. I what? feel like they bro. They they're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna be fucking bitchy for a little bit and then they're gonna They're leave. gonna forget about it. Right. It's gonna There's be like a whole oh, Facebook what's the school? Page like about literally it. though, what is the school supposed to do? Are they supposed to just ban these kids from the school like, and just no. have them pay the rest of their tuition? No, like because they, I, they I posted some edgy stuff. Right, and I feel like these kids have gotten enough shit from all these other people yeah. saying like hey look at these people fuck these people like let's just shit on these kids yeah. everybody screenshot this and post on your story that you hate them yeah does it say their goals what are their They're goals marching to the chancellor's office to Ooh, chancellor schmidt chancellor jim oh. jim schmidt, jim yeah. schmidt yeah. yeah that's andrew's that's dad andrew's dad yeah uh -oh. <laughs> that's funny i'm gonna ask andrew about this yeah what, what I, I was gonna say that also oh they're making a group chat about it <laughs> Ooh! Don't don't let anyone say any edgy Ooh. stuff. Yeah, will that be monitored? Here's what's happening tomorrow. <laughs> Walk out of class at two ten. Orange arrows will indicate that. Ah, uh, they just want to get out of class. I see. Okay. And then yeah. congregate silently in the circle. From there, we will go to Chancellor Jim's office, where BME will deliver their demands. No signs on sticks are allowed inside because sticks can be considered weapons. <laughs> Stay silent during the Gabe. march to Chancellor Jim's office. After going in, we will leave to maintain protesting, sit in style, in silence with signs, the, to the black circle, in black shirts. So basically, they're going to wear all black. Wait, black so face. Wait, what? isn't that kind of blackface, though, like, black but on fits. the body? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Wait, what are they? Did they say? Wait, this domains? is disgusting that they this would wear that. This no, is disgusting. They, I cannot. Believe. I cannot believe this. We need to. We need to organize a we protest. Need to organize a protest right they're now. Just <laughs> We're gonna march to that fucking. They're making dude. demands to the chancellor. <laughs> What are their demands? Nobody is saying what they're demanding. We want we um, want a hall monitor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we want group chat passes. In order to go to this college, oh, we need Chancellor this. Jim in every single group chat. <laughs> Jim, Can you imagine I, that the most poppin' <laughs> fucking Snapchat is Jim Schmidt in every group chat. <laughs> he has like he has two trillion snaps to her. Oh tour. <laughs> my god, that'd be insane. <laughs> He's just checking all of them. That's just all. That's his new job is the group chat checker. Make sure there's no edgy shit. Yeah, Do you want right. to read some of the signs? Here's some of the signs. Yes. These are picket picket signs. Yeah, maybe the demands will be on the signs. I don't know. $247,064.04. What we're paying him not to protect his students. What is he with, supposed to with do? With Kermit the Frog sipping tea and an What is he supposed to do? Solidarity is power. Listen, guys, threats are not protected speech. Nobody was threatened, nobody was threatened. except for the dude in the group chat. Yeah, yeah. except no, for the people. Actually, nobody was even threatened in the group chat. The one guy was just like, they were, just will the, on blast, they were like, basically. will the cross still be burning in five minutes when I get there? Yeah. That's literally it. So it's just an edgy joke. <laughs> yes. You guys no, are well, so, Somebody else also said something along the lines of like, like, oh, why even burn a cross? That's a waste of wood. And then they were like, yeah, just find somebody who has different like a different opinion than you and just burn them this like, one says like i that. should be in class okay <laughs> then, then go to then class don't <laughs> fucking participate in the protest you idiot we won't stop until action is taken all power to the people action what action, what, action? what do you yeah. want give him like, what tell do him, you want you can't just say hey do something do something about it do it just fix it my brain's small so you figure so out you, but I, I, oh I, I, listen I, to th- <laughs> this one's long <laughs> I keep wondering where the, the football players' parents slash fam. Where are the football players' parents slash family? I want the players to have to face us as a community, also so they understand the huge impacts their actions have made on our community. Such they probably as, already do. Such as imagine what their DMs look like. Can I ask what the huge impacts are? Nothing. Yeah. It literally, and I. Maybe this protest. Okay, this is, is gonna is get it. really kind of fucked up. But I guarantee the most people that are mad about this are white. That's 100% true. Which no tea, no shade to them. But that's the group of people that gets Mm -hmm. triggered by other races. Mm. It's because that's like their whole identity. So it's like. And especially white They don't have anything else to be. They don't have anything else to be passionate about. And their only passion is like. Being offended. And everybody. (laughs) Everybody in this like page is white. I don't know. That's what happens when you don't. If I see a, get a single, hobby. if I see a single, I mean, I'm not gonna go there to Do you watch the protest. I- but if I see a single, like, like straight black man there, I'll be very surprised. Um, they raised two thousand dollars. I don't really care with the demographics of the people protesting. I just think anyone who th- who's genuinely cares about this is wasting their time. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Somebody made one I think of any, their I th- birthday fundraisers. I think any actual person who like like can use logic can see that protesting will not change anything. Like, yeah, especially, I mean, in this situation, it's, for it's, sure. It's no, Maybe yeah, these in people this situation, should all drop out not, of UWEC no. instead of I'm not of knocking complaining. protesting. I'm just saying this situation. But, like, I, you know, if, if anyone who's, like, anything. supporting the protests watching or listening, I just, I genuinely want to know what the goals are. Like, what do you want? Because I know Chancellor Jim, like, yeah. And met him. Like, Found one black person. I've seen him. I yeah. saw him at, uh, at Gordy's Shit. before it closed. Yeah. And became, uh, Hanson's. Hanson's RGA. Yep. Whoever the one football player that showed this has a cracked phone. And yeah, <laughs> yeah you got a cracked phone. Just got real. Like, cr- it's real. Like, and I, I just don't know what like Jim is supposed to do. Right. Like, I, yeah. What? What do you want? Like to do? realistically. Oh, you think he, he's he's not I mean, gonna just drop? He's it? made Literally. statements about it in the news. What? But the only solution is to like that would make these people happy is if you would just ban the kids from the school and still make them pay tuition. He, right. That's the like only solution that would make them happy. And that's just dumb. Like that's just fucking the kids over. That's not worth one edgy thing you say. Right. 
he was like, I am disgusted by the actions of some of these students. There's no place for hate here. And then... I would agree with that. They did say something pretty messed up. And then he was like, whether it was in a small or private group or not, it does not matter. This is inappropriate. It is not part of our conduct. So, like, he's... I mean, he's he's saying... He's just doing, like... He's he's saying what is... He's covering his ass, basically. Which, like, no shade. Like, he's just saying... But he didn't do anything I, wrong. Yeah, right. Exa- that's basically what he he's saying. He expects is the just, dean of students to Like, this is fucked, but we don't have anything to do with it, basically. This like, is going to go on until, like, the end of the month that they're investigating. Oh what do they have to investigate? All you got to find out is who... All you have to do is add these boys on Snapchat, yeah. and you'll know their names. I don't know. I just then you can figure out what happened. It should take one day to figure this out. But imagine like, like imagine what Jim's going through right now, like being the chancellor of this school and all this crap's all going this, down, and like, you're dude, getting blamed for it. I don't understand. And the kids no. that are blaming him like have never dealt with a job that serious. Like yeah. they're just they're just going to college while mommy and daddy pays for it. I I just don't understand how someone in their right mind can think that anything he can do would like fix it. This man has a full time stressful ass job. Yeah, like and you're putting more pressure on him for something that he can't control. Yeah, for something and meanwhile, so- you're just going to school and don't have a job and right. I don't know. Oh, it's just how can I, uh, It's just just how do you ruin how do you make someone's life harder is what yeah, you're doing. Pretty much. I, yeah. It doesn't even matter. Just well, you guys are assholes and And then on. these people are talking bad about how the news wrote this saying it should have been on the news instead of a small article but wqow is our news and that they're disappointed they want they want on uh, national fox news yeah, to report yeah. on it they want cnn fox? to yeah yeah, yeah it would be cnn yeah no definitely not they fox want, fuck up fox news well fox news would 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 report on it but they would be they would put it in a different lens but uh yeah. CNN. Yeah. and then they're like i love the constant use of allegedly even though when you write a report like that you have to say allegedly like everybody's just doing their job right yeah. and they're like complaining yeah. so maybe they should just they just don't have anything better to do Honestly. they don't care about any real issues that are going on they just want to focus on this fake thing this is making me mad <laughs> yeah i read this and it made me a little bit upset it was, uh, going to a scary place <laughs> yeah oh we're, we're probably going to do a skit this week yep yes stay tuned for that it'll be awesome mm-hmm um, check out the Patreon. You know, and if you haven't already, you know, we were talking about some controversial stuff this episode, and I just want to say, like, you know, I could be wrong about it. Yeah, these are yeah, opinions, these are not all facts. Opinions. These yeah. are maybe, all maybe everybody's I'm, entitled to their own I, opinion. I, you know, I First just because I just heard about this whole thing right now. Yeah. Um. So maybe. Yeah, you've been in different and states yeah, while this was happening, so yeah. I don't blame and you. And you heard it through the grapevine through us. So, so if I'm, you know, obviously I could be missing something. Yeah. And so we, you know, you know. Everybody I mean, it is what it is. Don't but take, I don't take this with a Although, of salt. based on what I know, um, these people don't care if you're like th- that. Your opinion can change. They just want to kill you. But yeah, <laughs> they're babies. You know. They have their minds made up before they but know the facts. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about something. But based on what I'm hearing, this seems like a waste of time. But um, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna be doing a skit, and uh, I need to still plug the uh, the Patreon. I mean, I could, I could help. Yeah, you, with that. you can do that. Okay, so we got this thing called Patreon. What's that? And it's, uh, it's a little program where you go, it's y'all. Not a program. Y'all are it's a able website. to. It's a website. Wait, where's the website? It's on www.patreon.com slash the podcast. You know, what I think it's funny. I don't even know if that's true. Or not. <laughs> I'm sure you can find it. <laughs> no, that it's www.patreon.com slash podcast. I think. Is it okay. backslash or forward slash? Probably backslash. Probably back. It's always um, backslash. Yeah www is a funny thing because world wide web is three syllables. three syllables and www is nine, nine. Yeah. <laughs> what are you abbreviating yeah you're not <laughs> yeah. so worldwideweb.patreon.com slash podcast i believe foodcast. it's also in the description of the youtube video always yes. first link um only link probably what's a website what's the internet what's the internet help <laughs> <laughs> what that but yeah, so we got our we got we got the Patreon. We have our five dollar tier, which uh, gets you the podcast, just like the zero dollar tier. But also, you get the postcast, correct? 
What? I'm talking about the Patreon five dollar tier. So the did you go over the one dollar tier? Oh well, what is the one dollar tier? Okay, so one dollar. If you pay any amounts of money, you mm. get the postcast one day early on Monday instead of Tuesday. It's yes. edited. Uh, to, the po- the uh, podcast one day early. Yeah, Make and otherwise it's uploaded on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, five dollars you get the postcast too, which we don't do every week just because, like, like for as for example, sorry, <laughs> this week. Uh, we just kind of rambled. We didn't have a set topic, so we don't we don't have anything to talk about on the on the postcast. So mm. The postcast is usually for Ramble. the kind of conversation yeah. we had today. Yeah. Uh, so Which you know, cool. this is a little bit more personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we're we're gonna get heat, but uh, right, it's yeah. all good. Hey, mm-hmm. controversy. Any publicity is good publicity. Facts. <laughs> Think about it. Our names. Yeah, please will be hate on us. We please. enjoy it. Fuck uh, the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> hey, because then you know how many people are gonna click on the link to leave yeah. hateful comments. Oh exactly. Gosh. I want our like to dislike ratio to be <laughs> very negative. Very very like negative seven thousand negative seven thousand would be great zero likes seven thousand dislikes. dislikes let's dislikes. fucking do it <laughs> uh i don't really care as long as we get a view yeah it's cool to me <laughs> um, just watch the first four seconds it is whatever yeah well i mean we want our attention to go up so get and since we saved the controversial part for last yeah go all the way sure. to that and you'll be able to listen to the wacky and wild stuff before that. Yes. Oh. All right. So that's the one and five dollar tier. Yes. Uh, Ten dollars. You get a weekly one on one. We haven't done it yet, just because we don't have any Patreons. Yep. That donate ten dollars or yes, five or one for that matter. So uh, get on that shit, boys. Let's go. So uh, yeah, that's a weekly one on one. It's kind of just one of us talking. Uh, I don't it really it know. It will be one of us talking. Yeah. Uh, you We're also get saving those for when we get. You also get all the yeah. The, you get all the other stuff. The, the any prior is. tiers. Any uh any tier that you pay for, you also get all the tiers that are before it, mm. that are cheaper than it. Uh, yeah. The last thing is the fifteen dollar tier, which means that you get the podcast, literally right after we record it, like right now, unedited, like right now, which is scary for me because <sighs> I don't want uh, someone to little screen record something and post it and then start a fucking protest over it yep. so uh you know it's scary for me but i'm doing it so uh you know mm. tune into that if you're into it so yeah uh there you go 15 dollar tier actually i don't po- i don't talk about the ku klux klan too much so i don't think i, I think i'm good i think hopefully uh, oh my gosh <laughs> yeah um the cake cake yeah. this is a comedy show we're funny mm. we're hilarious I think so. Just kidding. I like to think like so. Dave Chappelle up in this place. Dave Dave Chappelle's on a different wavelength, but I get where you're coming That's from. Dave Chappelle's uh, he's smart. He's he's a lot funnier than us. Yeah. He's on a different wavelength. It's also his job. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. He's rich because he's funny. My job is to fix technology stuff. So. My job is to deliver pizzas. Yeah, so we're not I work at a thrift store. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we don't do uh we're funny. Not. We're, we don't do funny too often. We ain't do know. no funny now. Nah. We do it once a week. <laughs> yeah. We do that shit on Sunday. We do it on... We do, it's the side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yeah, it's a $15. So, uh, yes, sir. You know, if you guys uh, feel like giving your money to us, mm-hmm. we're broke, so help. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this is literally. a cry. This is not... We don't make a lot of money at our jobs. Yeah. Or this is a not profitable thing at all, yeah. this podcast. We're just doing it. Just doing it for the love. Because yeah. fun. But if, so. you know, some money come out, that's good, too. And honestly, the poo cast has changed my life. That's true. Wow. Look at that. I got to meet David Brudnicki. Yes. Yep. Actually, even though I knew who he was. <laughs> from a prior meeting. Yeah. I got to meet Marty, who's not here, and Liam, who's not here. Yeah. I mean, well, before I started recording this podcast, I basically just got home from work, watched YouTube, went to bed, went back to work the next morning. Me too. (laughs) So, uh, you know, it's made things a little more interesting. It gives me things to do on the weekdays because we hang out. Yeah. I've stayed up a lot later because of this, but. Yeah, me too. I've been. (laughs) I used to go to bed at like eight (laughs) o'clock. Now I go to bed super late. Yeah. So, uh. It's so a depressingly yeah. early time. Because I used to work at 8.30 in the morning. Oh, shit. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, so I'd come home super tired. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that was the podcast. Look forward to no postcast. Um, yeah. <laughs> look forward to <laughs> Look the forward untitled. to the skit, too. Yes. Um, Coming to you. Look forward to the controversy. We'd said some, some wacky stuff. People are going to not like us, but it's okay. Whatever, dude. 
We're unlikable people. Fuck them. I don't know. Anyway. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. Listening. Yeah. I hope they're not watching. Shit. Shit. We I took the camera I, I disabled my camera. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they have access to something down here. Gil's watching and recording. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, it's been the Pootcast. That's been the Pootcast. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next skit, which uh, what, what day do you guys want to do that? I don't even know, bro. I'm going to be gone for a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Are you leaving Wednesday? Yeah. You guys want to do it Tuesday night? We could just we could do it on Saturday. No, because no. I get done with work at four thirty and Marty gets done at seven thirty. Fuck. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. Tuesday? Maybe. Maybe. All right. All right. So maybe so this week though. This week. Probably. This week we will get a, a a skit out. It'll be really funny. Yeah. Unless it's not. Unless we just think it's funny. Yeah. Uh, but it'll be out there though. It'll be there to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer Uncensored was a little uh little edgy especially the graveyard scene yeah. but hopefully we don't create as much of a edginess but i don't know i mean it is what it is anyway thanks yeah. for listening for the third time yeah <laughs> peace out peace.